Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to calculate kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy using their formulas. So how do we calculate for kinetic energy? Okay, how do we solve for kinetic energy? So the amount of kinetic energy on a moving object, take note, depends directly on its mass and velocity. If there are factors or two quantities involved in kinetic energy, that is going to be mass and velocity. Meaning, we can be able to solve for kinetic energy if mass is present and if velocity is present. Take note that an object with a greater mass or greater velocity has more kinetic energy. So that's the relationship of kinetic energy to mass and velocity. So we call that relationship as um, directly proportional. Okay, so kinetic energy is directly proportional to mass. It is also directly proportional to velocity. Okay, the higher the kinetic energy, the higher its velocity will be. So they're always the same. They are not opposite to each other. They're always the same. So in calculating for kinetic energy, there is a formula that we need to follow. And this formula, of course, include your mass and velocity. That formula is kinetic energy equals one half times mass times velocity squared. So your velocity here is being squared because your kinetic energy depends on how high the velocity or how fast the velocity of an object is. It can also be written as Kinetic energy equals 0 0.5, because 1 half is equivalent to 0 0.5, mv squared. So when the letters are just beside each other and there's no spaces, that's automatic multiplication. So 0 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. So that is going to be the, the equation or the formula that we will be using in solving problems related to kinetic energy. The key information that you need to have when it comes to problem solving with kinetic energy is motion or if it is moving so if the problem tells you about movement about motion then that's going to be kinetic energy problem so let's have an example all right so here the figure below shows one running on the beach with his dad and one has a mass of 40 kilograms. So take note, it was mentioned already, there is a mass. And we know that mass is a factor in solving for kinetic energy. And is running at a velocity of one meter per second. So that's how fast he is running. And that's part of the equation also, velocity. Now the question is, running is the key word. This refers to movement or motion. So how much kinetic energy does he have? So our question is kinetic energy. We will need to solve for kinetic energy. So in order for us to solve for it, we need to substitute these values for mass and velocity into the equation for the kinetic energy. Okay, so I'm going to show you the, the process. Okay, here are the steps that we need to follow in sol solving for kinetic energy. The first step would be under understanding the problem and identifying the given values or the given numbers. So based on the problem that we have, we have the given number include 40 kilogram mass. So this is mass because it has kilogram as the unit and automatic, if the unit is kilogram, it represents mass. So mass is equal to 40 kilogram. Then you have your velocity, which is one meter per second. You know that it's velocity because the unit is meter per second. So meter per second is a unit for velocity or speed. Then the question that you have there earlier, so that's your step two, you have to write down the required quantity and that's going to be kinetic energy. Kinetic energy equals question mark because it's missing. Then you write down the formula that you will be using and that's going to be kinetic energy equals one half mv squared. And number four is show the process and solving for it. You have to plug in the numbers to the formula. So it's going to be kinetic energy equals one half times your mass, which is 40, times your velocity, which is one, and you need to square it. So if there's a square here that represents, you have to multiply the number by itself. But one times one is still one, so meaning it doesn't matter. You can actually cancel this out. 
Now, what is one half of 40? Or 40 divided by 2. So one half of 40 equals 20. Then copy the units. You cannot cancel this out because they are different from each other. So one half of 40 is 20 kilogram times meter squared per second squared, which is equivalent to 20 newton meter or 20 joule. So take note, the unit that we will use for kinetic energy is joule. Okay, joule comes from newton meter. Newton meter comes from kilogram meters per second kilogram meters squared per second squared. So that's actually Newton meter. So, but to shorten the units, we will just use joule or big letter J, and this represents your kinetic energy. Okay, so our problem is, it's a moving energy problem also. A car with a mass of 700 kilogram, so you have a mass already, is moving with a speed of 20 meters per second. So we need to say our problem is about the moving car. So that's a kinetic energy problem. So you need now to calculate the kinetic energy of the car. Okay, first, what are the given numbers that you see on the problem? Your mass, M, is equal to 700 kilogram. So you write it down. Okay, and then your... Velocity or speed is 20 meters per second, so 20 m over s. What is the required? What is it that we're trying to find out? Okay, so Ke or kinetic energy equals question mark. Okay, what formula are we going to use? Okay, kinetic energy equals one-half mv squared. So we need now to plug in the given numbers to our equation or to our formula. Kinetic energy equals one-half, you multiply it, so you can use close and open parenthesis to uh, denote multiplication. So one-half, 700 kilogram times 20, sorry, okay, 20 ms and then squared. So what is one half of 700 or 700 divided by two? So you have 350 kilogram okay what's 20 times 20 okay so 20 times 20 you have 400 and then you copy the unit and also the squared so that's going to be 400 meters squared per second squared Okay, what's 350 times 400? That's going to be your final answer now. Kinetic energy equals 350 times 400, 140,000. And the unit for kinetic energy is joule. So joule is derived from Newton meter and Newton meter comes from here. Kilogram meter squared per second squared. So your final answer is kinetic energy equals 140,000 joule. Let us go ahead and learn now how to calculate gravitational potential energy. So gravitational potential energy or GPE can be calculated with the equation GPE equals mass with the symbol M times gravity with the symbol G times height with the symbol H or GPE equals weight times height. Weight actually comes from mass times gravity. 
Take note of the quantity and units. Mass is in kilogram. Gravity is constant on Earth. That's 9.8 meters per second squared. Height is in meters. Weight is in newton. And your gravitational potential energy will always be equal to joules. To solve, we just need to follow the steps. Our given includes weight equals 140 newtons. So instead of mass and gravity, we can use weight to solve for potential energy. And then height is equivalent to 4 meters. Second step, of course, is to identify the mean quantity, and that is gravitational potential energy. Step three, you have to write the formula for the required quantity. So we're going to use the other formula for GPE, which is weight times height. Plug in the given numbers to the equation and solve. Make sure to include the units. So GPE is equal to 140N times 4M. And of course, the answer is... 560 and you need to write the unit which is joule so 560 newton meter or joule because again joule is a unit for energy and it was named after James Prescott joule that ends our lesson for today thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something have a great day.